recording. Hey, you're watching Art Life video blog number 59. Uh, this is Dead Red Dingus with... Uh, My name is Jacob Wolf. I am geeking out today uh, because I'm with somebody that uh, not a lot of people get to meet. Uh, I'm with a, an artist. Uh, do you want to tell a little bit about what you do? Uh, yeah, so I just kind of do the street art project, uh, the dingus project. It uh, all came around for my pet ferret, just kind of being crazy, and uh, I wanted to share that with the world. And it just kind of went from a small part-time thing to a crazy obsession that I cannot stop. And so I guess that's what got me here today. What do you mean an obsession? Like how much of your life revolves around Dead Red Dingus? <laughs> Oh, you know, I mean, like, uh, a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm heavily into skateboarding, but, you know, being here in Portland, that's pretty seasonal, to say it at best. And so this kind of, like, filled a void uh, of boredom. And so, you know, basically when I'm not skateboarding or working like some asshole, uh, I'm screen printing and kind of designing more Dingus stickers. Um, so you said that this was started because... Did, <laughs> well, it... that's a Dingus story, you know. There, uh, There's a few things that have been created from the whole ferret. It's just kind of blossomed into, you know, really whatever I can, like, Photoshop edit uh, with my ferret's face. Uh, I've just kind of done, you know, like... I wouldn't look for any super deep meaning in it. Just like look at it and smile. Like that's that's really what it's about. You know? uh, were you an artist before you started doing stickers? Eh, I'm gonna quote Charles Bukowski on this and say, "Great art is horse shit. Eat tacos, or maybe it's buy tacos. I don't know. It's one of those two. Hell yeah, I'm eating a taco. Yeah, there we go. Check this out. Yeah. <laughs> We're at a Robo Taco. Yeah, Robo Taco, drinking some beers. Drinking some beers. Yeah. He's got a little more going on than I do with mine here, but you know. I drink PBR. <laughs> um, what a... How long did you have your ferret? Uh, she was about five before she died, which was actually just a couple of months ago, if even that long. So, yeah, but I've had ferrets all my life. So she was like my seventh or eighth ferret I wow. had. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, what drew you to ferrets? Fuck, dude. What? I don't know. They're just fun. They're little dinguses, right? <laughs> Is that, that, okay, so you said that was uh, the nickname that you had. Yeah, 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 okay, we can talk about that. Yeah, so a lot of people think, like, the whole dingus concept came from Dr. Steve Brule on the Tim and Eric Awesome Show, and then check it out with Dr. Steve Brule. Not necessarily. I mean, if you were born within the last 15 years, maybe. That's cool, dude. But there's something, you know, called The Simpsons, and uh, there was a character, Nelson, who, you know, ha-ha, that dude. He'd always call people the dingus, and uh, that's sort of what kind of spawned the you whole... dingus! Yeah, you know? Uh, that spawned the whole thing. So, not John C. Riley. Yes, Nelson from The Simpsons. Um, so you were a part of a sticker project. Yeah? Uh, a few. A few of them. What, uh, tell us a little bit about working with uh, William Woods. Uh, oh, okay, name dropping, huh? Well, you're you're probably talking about uh, Sticker Nerds Three. I am talking about Sticker Nerds and, Three. And uh, yeah, you know, I was uh, loosely involved with a lot of that, not necessarily so much with the physical construction, but more of the setup. Uh, we pay stickers of all sorts of artists from all over the world, so that's sort of where I met William. And uh, yeah, you know, that was Sticker Nerds Three was an awesome show. Um, the dudes who, who really did their hardest to put it on are rad, and, and I hope we'll see Sticker Nerds 4 sometime soon. Really? Yeah. Uh, so but, you know, I, I don't know. 
<laughs> I, I'm from Nebraska and I came to Portland and I took notice of the, the sticker art scene. And yeah. the, the first sticker that I collected was a Mario in a raver, he was a raver Mario, he had like a pacifier. Sure. And he was uh, in a, a Yoshi suit and he was popping pills and whatever. And it was, I just saw this, this sticker and I was like, I need that. And I ripped it off and I started from that day collecting stickers. And Dead Red Dingus has been uh, one of oh, yeah. my favorite sticker artists. I mean, I, I have quite a number of his stickers. I know that I have... I'm just showing them off right now. But yeah, I know. Please do. Yeah. I have some of these stickers. There's a lot of them. I have one of these. And I know people have seen like that around. All right. So he has these ghosts, too. Yeah, so I was actually doing the ghosts for like a solid year or more before the whole Dingus project started. So that's that's really is, that's really the whole Dead Red concept, you know. This like, is before, before he became Dead Red Dingus. This, yeah. These are fucking collectors' that, items, like you wouldn't even believe. Right <laughs> and he just gave me a stack of stickers that I don't even know what I'm gonna do with. I'm gonna fucking frame them. I am just like. And this one you said was called. That's the broken leg bummers, dude. Like, so if you've ever broken a bone, especially skateboarding, you kind of understand that it just really fucking sucks. And uh, so that's just a little sad ghost with a broken skateboard and bashed in head. <laughs> um, where, where was the progression? Where did you notice the progression in your art? Uh, from when you started you said that the first Yeah, no, that's a real good question. So probably when, because before I was just basically like drawing or printing on like cheap ass computer printer labels, but uh, I started meeting some other artists in town and uh, kind of got uh, taught by a lot of them the, the very, you know, um, basic rudimentary factors of screen printing. And uh, so I just kind of, uh, took what I learned from them and started doing my own thing basically and so this you, is sort of what you're seeing now is that you the have your own screen printing press or do you go to somebody to do it no I, I screen print all my stuff uh, in a garage I everything you're seeing here all the stickers I've, I've made every part of so um, yeah I'm not paying anybody to do any of my stuff um, that wouldn't really be like me um, Edward Scissor Dingus. Edward Dingus hands. Edward Dingus hands. That's even better. <laughs> uh, what is this one? Uh, that's the Screeching Dingus. So if you know the band Screeching Weasel and kind of know the history of what Ben Weasel did a few years ago, that might make sense. So. But YouTube or Google that shit and decide for yourself. Uh, what about? Dude, I mean, who doesn't? Who shouldn't get themselves a wizard hat? You know. When did this start? <laughs> that's like, like early Dead Red stuff too, so that's also when I was doing the ghosts. I have another one, a design that's never been printed, but it says lame tats and wizard hats. So maybe that'll happen soon. I've got a lame tat. You want to see that? It's uh, It's got tribal and a rose. So there we go. Who knows? Maybe look for that. Now I'm going to get a wizard, wizard hat. hat. Yeah, coming to you. Lame tats and wizard hats. <laughs> um, what's your favorite sticker? Uh, like, uh, do you reprint one a, a bunch? Uh, no, my favorite sticker, if you could hold that one up, is that. Yeah, that's my favorite one I've ever done. Suck it, Portland. Por this is the Portland bike <laughs> sign. And, okay, do you... I, uh, I saw a picture of this, and you had... I mean, there's a sticker of the dingus face over the Portland bike sign. Do you put the the sticker over the Portland bike sign sometimes? That could be a possibility. Yeah? So is, I mean, I figured that's where it came from. I don't know. 
Um, I've got a stack of these that they're all kind of stuck together because he said... Yeah, the ink got all fucked up on that. It was actually the material I was screen printing on, like, wouldn't dry the ink. All the ink I use is oil, like, it's called plastisol, and so you have to heat dry it. And, like, it wouldn't stick to this, so I had to, like, spray this coat of clear coat, you know, spray paint lacquer shit on it. And all it did was make it sticky. So, those are garbage. We should just... I really throw those away. Oh, uh, I'll keep them. Uh, okay. Uh, he also was giving me these little posters. Yeah. So this is sort of some newer stuff, kind of actually trying to make some prints. But you know, once again, this is just all Photoshop. Or maybe have we even talked about that? We yet? haven't talked about We've the not program. Talked that you about used. it. Should we kind of jump into that? Yeah, yeah, man. Totally. So I mean, I don't actually own a Photoshop program. Probably 90% of what I'm doing other than drawing the ghosts or like the weird wizard hat things are all kind of Photoshop based, especially this here. Um, and I just use this free program online. I'm not going to name drop it. Just Google free Photoshop. You'll find it. Free Photoshop. So, uh, yeah, it's a sandlot. I hope you've seen it. If you haven't, I feel bad for you. If you haven't seen it, fuck you. <laughs> All right, so this guy yeah. says, why do anything? Why do anything? Do you want to say why he says, why do anything? Well, why? I mean... <laughs> What's the story with this guy? You were telling me that's about a, a, a religion. Yeah, that's an image from uh, that's Bob. It's uh, from the Church of the Subgenius. And I guess their whole thing is like, the less you do, the better you are. So... I just kind of threw the dingus character in there and, uh, you know, why do anything? Fuck, really. Religion of the sub-dingus. Yeah, church of the sub-dingus. Yeah. Church of the sub-dingus. Yeah, yeah. And now I have this flyer. Yeah, so that's a pamphlet. Um, many of you, or maybe none of you, are aware of the um, dingosaur population that is, in fact, declining. Um, the dingosaur Save the dingosaur. is an endangered species, and um, it needs your help, honestly. Could, could you open this up to this front page here? I want to show you all the number one reason of dingosaur decline, and that's right here in this picture, and that's specifically from jealous hater rage. Jealous hater rage. Yeah, the biggest part of jealous hater rage comes from misled homo sapiens. So please do your part to help out your fellow man by telling them, you know, rubbing your key over a dingosaur isn't gonna help their population thrive. Also, other sticker artists, if you're putting your stickers over other sticker artists' stickers, that's, that's disrespectful. Well, you know, I'm gonna say no comment uh, to stay neutral Switzerland here. Yeah, but uh, that could get you in, into trouble there. Yeah. It, it'll earn you a bad reputation. Um, tell me, I'm a complete outsider in the sticker scene. Okay. Um, how do, like, how do sticker artists relate to each other? How do they, they... Yeah, no, that's a good question. Uh, we all hate each other. No, 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 that's not true. Uh, most people here in Portland are very cool. Um, you know, but just like every group of people, there might be some people who are picky about things and other people who aren't. And so, I mean, honestly, what I can say is that Portland has one of the best thriving sticker scenes probably in the country. And that most of us are really cool with each other. It's true. Um... I have a few, like, I have sticker artists that I love. Dead Red Dingus has been one of them for a while. I also have sticker artists that I do not like, and uh, it's, it's about the respect thing, because I really, I feel that people can tell if you're tagging for gang reasons, they can tell if you're tagging for art reasons for for hatred yeah. reasons yeah so my whole thing is to just be like it's just silly you know like it's not meant to claim anything it's not gang related it's not meant to diss it's just 
there's a fucking picture of my ferret's face on a pole. Like, if you, like, personally want to take your time to, like, scrape it or diss it or color it over, whatever, like, congratulations. Like, good job. <laughs> um, what are your aspirations for the future? Like, do you want to take this somewhere or? Uh, you know, I'm pretty stoked with where it's at right now. I mean,. I uh, wasn't really ever thinking I'd want to like sell any of my stuff. I'm pretty much under that same understanding, but honestly, like due to numerous and numerous people hitting me up being like, hey, like I want to trade with you or whatever, I did start selling stuff online. So like you can buy stuff online, but I don't know, dude. Just, if you probably meet up with me in reality, I'll just give you everything that you want. Anyway, I mean, he so. just, he, he hooked me up. And I, I'm, I'm really grateful. Fuck, that one's cool as hell. Yeah, so that's a collab with a really rad dude from Washington, Seattle, named Sleep, and uh, one of the coolest people I've met in the sticker scene. Man, um, you were showing me some of your bigger yeah. things. Do you want me to grab it? Yeah, sure. I've kind of. Not necessarily able to talk about that too. Yeah, I, oh, I can talk about this. So this is like before, before I even really <laughs> did the whole dingus thing. This is just like the first picture of my ferret that I took, and uh, yeah, pre dingus. So that's that's what's up with that. In here, we have. Check that out. That's fucking cool. Yeah, so I mean, anybody can make shit like this. If you just have a printer and some cheap ass program, that's probably like about six pages, just kind of taped together, cut out. <laughs> yeah. And then you were talking about uh, wheat paste is what you would use to do something like this. Yeah, yeah, if I was gonna put that up, I'd probably use wheat paste, which it was just sort of just a common thing. It's just like glue. Just think of it like that. If I was going to put it up, I'd use some weird glue. But instead of uh, Elmer's, it's made from like flour and water. Um, it's free, cheap. Everything I try and make is on the cheap. Like I'm not pumping money into this. So. Cowbell Mafia? Yeah, you can't stop the Cowbell Mafia, you know? <laughs> so tell us the story of the Cowbell Mafia. That's just a silly thing. If you go to the Winterhawks hockey games here in Portland, people have cowbells. Watch out, you just might see us there. Cowbell Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> There's people with cowbells there, that it's them. Maybe. Allegedly. Yeah, so we kind of commented on that earlier, John C. Riley. That's why I made that in the first place, so, yeah. Fuck, I probably said a lot. <laughs> this is cool as hell. Yeah, so this is uh, just sort of like what a sheet with stickers uh, looks like after I've screen printed. This I actually did two colors, so I did is the this, orange. You said this is the neighborhood watch symbol. Neighborhood, yeah, yeah. And then this is Agent Orange. Yeah, Clockwork Ding. I'm sorry, Clockwork Orange. Um, we got Black Metal Dingus in there, too. Yeah, where is it? Right there, Black Metal Dingus. Oh, with the... Yeah, crosses. Upside down crosses on his eyes. Hail Satan. And we've got a Dingosaurus. Dingosaurus getting hatched here. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows Dingosaurus hatch from eggs, so you know. They're reptiles. This is this is so cool. <laughs> I fucking love this shit so much. Um Yeah, so some more old, old school shit, old school Dead Red Ghost. That's, yeah, it's been around for a while. Do you, okay, so you said that people can buy your art. They can, yeah. I mean, where, where would somebody go to, to buy your art? 
I figured you might ask that. And if I absolutely have to whore myself out. That I mean, I want I want artists to make money. Yeah. I'm not really in it to make money, but if you basically want to give me funding to make more of this shit, here's where you can find it. Okay, it's dead like big cartel. Dead projects dot big pro, uh, what does it say? It should be dead red projects dot big cartel dot com. Okay. Dead red projects dot big cartel dot com is where you can buy his art. And what what would somebody be getting from you? Would they be getting stickers or would they be getting uh, prints? On, on my website, you'll see stickers, but you should have the option to be able to kind of email me and we could talk that way. Uh, yeah. Or, I mean, fuck, dude, hit me up on Facebook. That's where this dude hit me up. He's not a cop, so it worked out great. I'm not a cop. Not a cop. Fuck the police. Oh. Uh, so, I'm not on Instagram. I know that's where all the huge sticker scene is. I can't afford a smartphone. Uh, Fuck. So, so you should buy his art. <laughs> so he can then get on Instagram. Uh, we're happy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Right. <laughs> no, that's not what he's going to do with that money. No, not at all. <laughs> probably spend it on more of these. So. Beer's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're having a gallery uh-huh. on the 20... Okay, the 23rd of yeah. January. But all of the artists that we interview in January are invited to our show in February. In February. Uh, February 27th. 27. And okay. it'll be at our home. Uh, there'll be free booze. Uh, is that a, what day of the week is that? It'll be a Friday. Okay. It's called the 4th F in Friday is the gallery that we're holding. Okay. Um, and we're asking all of the artists to donate a small piece for a... Uh, uh, a raffle that we're doing, yeah, sure, um, just sure. an attraction. Uh, we'd love to invite you to come. Well, I, I'll try and be there, man. You All know? right, yeah, man. Yeah, He's gonna try. I will. I'll. I'll see what I can do. You know. All right. I'm gonna cut this off now because I have to go to the bathroom really bad. Fuck yeah! And we I love need to you. order another beer. So, All right. You know. Have a good night. We love you.